State would have to immediately disclose all unauthorized leaks of ethylene oxide at plants like Cobb County's Sterengetics under a bill passed out at the House committee today. There have been growing concerns the toxin could be putting residents' health in jeopardy. 11 Alive's Doug Richards has more on the breakthrough today with lawmakers on both sides. There are about a half dozen ethylene oxide bills in the legislature this session, but the one that is advancing is one written by a Cobb County Republican. Activists living near Cobb County's sterogenics plant have been pushing a measure that requires plants like sterogenics to immediately disclose to the state any leak of ethylene oxide. That's a gas described by the EPA as a carcinogen. The question has been how proactively the state should disclose those leaks to the public. Sterogenics and a plant in Covington called BD use ethylene oxide to sterilize medical equipment. Republicans introduced a bill that would require immediate disclosure of any ethylene oxide leak to the EPD. Democrats wanted that too, plus for the EPD to immediately post the disclosures on its website. Republicans wrote the website disclosure out of their bill. Today, they wrote it back in. This is what the community wanted. When we first started this, what we wanted was for any accidental release to be reported to EPD and for EPD to be able to disclose that information to the public without the public having to file open records request. The history of ethylene oxide leaks is eye-opening. In Covington, the BD plant reported leaks in September 2019 and January 2016. In Cobb County, Sterogenics reported ethylene oxide leaks in July of last year, as well as two leaks in 2018. There was no law on the books for those companies to disclose some of those smaller leaks. This bill would require those companies to disclose any ethylene oxide leak and for the state to immediately make them known to the public. Doug, thanks so much.